Hi, mate. Time to drink up. We've got to go. We've got a wedding to get to. <laughs> Look at you. storyline uh, between Daisy's character, char um, Charlie's character Daisy, and Justin, who's played by Andrew. Uh, the Stork storyline that was prior to this for, went on for about three or four months. Um, then they get to a um, penultimate moment where Justin throws acid towards Daisy and Ryan intercepts uh, the blow um, just by the side of the, the rover's bar and experiences an acid attack. <laughs> First of all, I mean, Ian said, look, I'm going to be honest with you, this is going to be, it's going to have its tedious elements of like, it's going to be every day, there's going to be a minimum of an hour prosthetics, makeup every day, um, and then about an hour off as well, so it, it just extends the days a little bit more, and there will be a relentless kind of um, feeling to it overall, and to be honest, more than anything, I've, I've, en I've enjoyed it, it's been really good to kind of get stuck into something. It's worse than I thought. Hi, my name's Gillian. I am I am the head of the hair and makeup and special effects team here on Coronation Street. A day to day for me would be making sure that all the teams are set up because at any one time we could be filming up to six weeks worth of episodes. So that could be six separate teams. Um, so I'm making sure that the makeup supervisors have everything that they need, that the artists have all the makeup that they need. Um, just that being the, the general mother of the room really is, is kind of my, just making sure everyone's happy and keeping a nice atmosphere and making sure everything's up to continuity and all set up and ready for whatever's being filmed. So once we had a plan um, between me, um, research, writers, and Ian, the producer, it was then trying to put it into action. And I knew we needed some specialist help. Um, so I went to Davy Jones and Rebecca Scott at Davy Jones SFX um, to get a live casting of Ryan because what we needed to create on him needed to be made for his face and something that could be, you know, moulded and fitted to his face. So I took Ryan over to the Wirral uh, where Davy has his studio and we got him fully live casted. To be able to call on someone of that level is a real privilege and a real privilege to the show as well. I always remember Davy's name because he did not all the Pirates of the Caribbean and he had so many things on his shelves. We went to, uh, me and Gillian went to his, um, his workshop and it was just the creepiest experience. I <laughs> know it was absolutely amazing. It was so interesting to see what he did and how he worked. Uh, he's done so many major movies and stuff like that. He he is a genius. Like what he does is absolutely incredible. It was just so nice to be part of that, you know. And he's such a lovely guy. And Bex, who he works with as well, she's lovely. Um, super professional. Made incredible pieces for it. Um, and we did uh, when we went to see him in the Wirral. He he took a mold of my face. So it's like a cast of a. Uh, you end up with all this blue ooze over your face and they poke a little hole in your mouth so you can breathe. Uh, for about 45 minutes to an hour and, and then they, they create that cast and then take it away and they design the pieces of the Bondo from your face. So it was all made to scale and stuff like that, it was great. I was very excited about it but did think it, it needed you know, some real planning and some real thought put into it. One, to do it properly and to do it justice for you know people that have gone through this in their real lives and then something that we could put out day after day, week after week on Ryan, the actor. Um, that was, yeah, it was. It felt challenging, but exciting. We wanted it to look realistic. We wanted it to be as real as it could. You know, I think with a story like this, you have to approach it in a very respectful, sensitive manner. You've you've got to explore the the appropriate. It's difficult because we wanted an aesthetic to be shocking because it, it comes with that. That's what happens with the weight of an attack like this, of violence of that nature, you know. Um, and the people that I've met with 
the people that have experienced real acid attacks, they have such significant scarring that it changes their entire life, it changes their entire appearance. So we wanted to have a degree of that without losing the ability for the character to continue um, and continue on with other storylines post um, acid attack storyline. So we, we, we kind of had to find a, a balance. Um, there was talks of it being more facial and more on the side and whether it was going to be uh, the eye and contact lenses and stuff like that. So that a lot of work went into it. We really need to get you back to hospital, okay? <laughs> Look, I thought it was it got as bad as it was going to get, right? I've lost my face. I think the most challenging part was making sure it was something that could be recreated. Um, because if, if we could have gone with a different material um, that would be binned at the end of the night, not washed out or reused, but then you wouldn't get the same look from day to day. You know, you'd get an idea, but not the exact same look. So I think that was, that was the most challenging, you know, how we were going to recreate it from day to day. We called Paul um, from Wakefield Hospital to come and help us because he, he was able to provide real images from real patients of the colour and the scale and how the, the skin would react to these acid burns. Um, it, ha it, had to be, it had to be right and the closest we can possibly get it with makeup, you know, um, to tell the real story. I think for the girls it's mainly about matching the continuity, especially when you're in direct continuity, because not only the placement but the coloration and as it changes over time, I mean even if you take a picture of it on set, so you've got something to go off. After you take the picture of the next day and the next day and the next day, there's always that kind of um, ability for it to move and change. So I think all in all, keeping it in the right position and the right color and having the coloration come down in regards to the process of recovery and having that stay real, look realistic and keep keep that accurate. I think that's really difficult, especially for the girls. Um, I'm more like the last line of defense. I'm just like, oh yeah, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, so, but whatever they're doing is absolutely amazing work. And um, and that's all on them, really, if I'm honest. I just kind of sit there. I kind of used an hour as my, my goal. What can we create in an hour? You know, so what we have created in an hour is, you know, some really good work. It's something that maybe take three or four on a long running drama or on a film, but because I've got a really, really good experienced team, we've been able to, you know, get the work down to be done within just an hour. The whole experience has been fantastic, really, working with, you know, working closely with Ryan and working with the, with my, my team as well and how much support I've had from my team and the work that they've put into it and then being able to call on to Davy Jones. But ultimately, it's to create something on this scale for Coronation Street is... A, a, a dream really for someone in my job it's you know I really feel like you could only have dreamt of it when I was 20 you know I think I think we've done a good job if just keep it going now you know because this is something that will always be with Ryan but I think we've done I, I'm proud of what we've done and what we've made and just hope we can continue that and who knows what what's next <laughs> on um, in Weatherfield all in all I was just made up to kind of get something of such sensitivity and, and have the um responsibility to do a story like this um, that was the main thing yeah and this this just came with it and the the people I mean everyone uh, the um, Gillian and, and everyone else that works in the makeup team have just such an amazing job and they put up with me every morning so you know what can I say